And developing at 6, a school bus driver puts the brakes on a potential tragedy, stopping a special needs student with a gun. CBS 2's Tina Patel is live in Fontana with that story and reaction to it. Tina. Well, parents are relieved that this driver was paying attention to the students and able to take action before they got here to the school. Parents say they were surprised when students at Solorio Elementary School came home with this letter from the principal telling them a student tried to bring a gun to school. It's kind of intense, you know, to know that that happens, you know, but I mean, I figured they handled it pretty good because then nothing happened. So, according to the letter, a bus driver saw the unloaded gun on the way to school and took it from the student, stopping a potentially dangerous situation before they got to campus. That's awesome. I, I commend them. I mean, you never know if, I mean, the gun was unloaded and supposedly, but you never know if the kid had bullets with them or anything else. School officials wouldn't reveal the name or background of the driver, saying only the driver is contracted through an outside company, Visser Transportation. But they do say all staff in the district are trained on how to deal with situations like this, and they also encourage students to speak up if they see someone with a weapon. My kid, I just try to, you know, make sure that he's safe at all things, make sure that he knows, you know, not to touch stuff like that, or if he sees anything like that, to make sure he lets somebody know. The student in this case, a 10-year-old with special Special needs has been suspended and a review process is now underway to determine any further disciplinary action. Fontana police are also investigating to figure out how the student got the gun and whether the parents of the child will face any charges. And we just got an update from police. They tell us this student didn't know the gun was real. They don't believe he had any intent to cause harm. There were six other special needs students on the bus at the time. The principal of the school has reached out to all of their parents. That's the latest in Fontana. We'll send it back to you. All right. Thanks, Tina.